Welcome along to a video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name's Robert and today we'll have a brief overview of Office Web Apps. Office Web Apps are part of Office 2010 and require the installation of SharePoint 2010 to operate. So as you can see here we have a basic SharePoint 2010 site and on the front page here I have a document, a Word document and if I pull down the options menu here to the right of the document name you'll see that I have a number of options including view in a browser, edit in a browser and edit in Microsoft Word. So the first option I'll select is to view it in the browser. So again in this case I'm going to open a Word document into a standard web browser. So again as the document opens using Microsoft Office Web Apps, I can now view the document as if it was inside Word. So again here I have um, the document, I have a number of buttons across the top, open in Word, edit in a browser. You'll notice that I have a file menu in which I can open in Word, print and close the document. So what I'll do now is to select the option to edit in a browser. So what I want to be able to do is to make changes inside this document uh, without necessarily having to open Word just yet. So again the document loads inside the browser in edit mode and as you can see across the top here I get the familiar Office ribbon and I can easily go in here and make changes to the document as though um, again very much like working inside the Word environment. When I have made the changes that I need, I simply press the save button and you'll see that it is saved back to the SharePoint site. So again I've got a file menu from the file menu I can select uh, a number of options as well and one of these is, is now I can use my full version of Word to open the document so again it prompts me that there may be some untrusted information in there it will now open uh, launch inside Word for me because the information is being taken from um, a SharePoint site I will have to log into that SharePoint site and once I've authenticated to the SharePoint site the document will be downloaded into the full version of Word that is on my desktop and I can now edit that as though um, it's a normal document. So again you'll notice in here that I have made this uh, writing here blue but what I'll do is I'll bold it and I'll underline it. So again I've edited this in Word. What I will do now is I will save this document. I will now exit the document and close Word. So let's close Word and that'll take me back to my SharePoint site. If I once again simply click on this document, the option will be that it will launch in Office Web Apps so that I can view the document. And as it comes up, you can see that, again, it indicates the change that I've just made. So again, because I've got the track changes on, you can see that it indicates that I have made that change. So what I'll do is close the document. So this has been a good example of one of the major benefits of implementing SharePoint 2010 inside a business. It allows you the option to install and operate Office web apps, which basically allow you to do a subset of the functions of the full version of Office, but directly through a web browser. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to contact me via an email, director at ciaops.com, or via my blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much.